Hello everyone, and welcome back to Salasta, Crown of the Magister. Last time, we found ourselves back at KLM, looking for some goblin language documents here in this hideout, and we found ourselves entering a spot of bother. Here's the ensuing battle. Cheers. Yeah. Alright, awful initiative, and at least five foes. And these are indeed ogres. So, very first thing that the cleric will do is bonus action spiritual weapon. And we should get to make an attack with a spiritual weapon this turn, but I don't think it's programmed that way because the bonus action is already spent, which is fine. And because bonus action was a leveled spell, we can't cast one of these because we already cast a leveled spell, but we can cast a cantrip. Let's go for a chill touch. Very good. Then we're going to have three of them before ourselves. Direwolf could be a problem. Don't know if pack tactics will work for a dire wolf when it's alone. I'm sure we'll find out shortly. That's gonna hurt. Kite. Don't want shield of faith. Before we unequip our sword, do we want any of this stuff? I don't think so. In which case, uh, I bought that and please come and attack this with a sword. We have to do the movement first. And yes, smitey smite. That is an excellent smite. And still only half their health. So this is going to be a tough one. No bonus action spells to cast. So that is us. Goblin Cutthroat, 33 HP. Two of them in the order. Now, I think we can get both of these guys in a shatter without getting our own allies here. And I'm inclined to give this a go, see how it resolves. Yeah, so it's only showing me the actual tiles that are going to affect the spell, I think. So this would be hitting faith. This is not hitting faith. And that did just 9 damage, which is a shame off of... Is it 3d8s? A 4, a 1, and a 4 off of 3d8s. It's not the best. Oh no, this box above our heads seems like a terrible place for us to be standing. Faith. Ogre is unlit, but we do have an ally right next to us. And we now have our spell casting, which I must remember. But I think we're just going to keep attacking this ogre. A huge 10 there. And I don't want to shadow dodge. I don't need to cunning action from here. Although we could disengage and then move back slightly. Then back around to the top with Pastel. We now have our spiritual weapon out and ready. That's going to start laying into this guy. Nice of it to finally hit something. And then Pastel herself. I'm inclined to go for the Dire Wolf because we'll have advantage on our attack if we hit with this spell. And then something nearby can try and attack that. That is rough on... All those D6s, 2411 on 4D6. 
I guess that is the nature of like true dice rolls. We're being attacked. Do we want to cast shield? Uh, yes. Let's. Seventeen is a miss. While we've got our shield out, which is great. Uh, don't think we need to worry about smiting here if we land an attack. I think a magic missile could probably finish this guy off. Probably would have died to the smite, but that's fine. Goblin cutthroats coming over to get in the fight. And now we have Gothic up. Let's cast spell Magic Missile. Let's do two there. And let's get going on this direwolf as well. Oh, it did not kill the ogre. That's rough. At least they are missing several of their attacks. Faith is up. This wolf, we have advantage because of David, uh, advantage because of guiding bolt if we attack it. The question is, do we want to try and stay at range and keep ourselves out of the limelight? But I think we come to here we will have cover from this large rock against this ogre and then we can attack here for sneak attack oh huge sneak attack with 12 extra damage this wolf is probably one hp away from dying pastel can probably finish this off excellent stuff so now it's a 4v4, which is far more manageable. Get that extra attack in. That's a 14. Uh, yes, let's keep shielding. We can long rest extra if we have to. And we can always use spell slots to heal as well if we want to. All right. I'm mad that we're probably going to attack way more here than we need to. We're going to not smite, but they are dead. AC around 14. And let's move all the way over to here. That way we can impose disadvantage if this tries to attack our adjacent allies. And then it's just the goblins further away that we're going to have to deal with somehow. So, Gothic is up. We've used a lot of our spell slots already. I'd rather save Shatter for when we can get better AoE. So, we can't attack like that without disadvantage because this enemy is in our zone that threatens us. So, instead, let's Poison Spray... Oh, they're too far away for that. That's very awkward. Um, so if we move to here, is this going to be an attack of opportunity against us? It is because the ground is red, I think. And we can't reach that because... Uh, oh, no, we can reach this. They're just unlit. But even with disadvantage, that went all right. These goblins are keep attacking us with disadvantage. I'm not sure if we're just too far away for the range of a short bow or if we're too poorly lit, but either way, I'm not complaining. Faith. Ogre is unlit. We have dark vision, I thought, unless it's completely dark in here. That's a miss on a 10. Back to pastel. Huge hits. Spiritual weapon, do you think? Oh, the extra action economy of a spiritual weapon is just glorious. Was that 20 damage? It was. Good grief. Alright. Um, 
kite, please attack this. Another miss? That's a big miss. Somebody needs to heal Gothic. So we're going to take the dodge action for now until Pastor or Kite can get a turn to do some healing. Oh my god. We must cast shield for ourselves because, oh boy, we do not have the health points to support ourselves otherwise. We badly need to sort out this darkness issue. Uh, that was not what I was expecting, but okay. Uh, we do not want to attack with our main action. We want to cast, we want to get our bow out because that gives us a free hand. Cast spell. Uh, is it just our bonus action? healing word that we have. Not the best. And then for a main attack, I regret getting our bow out, but I guess we couldn't have cast our spell. Otherwise, you're just going to have to attack an adjacent enemy at disadvantage. It's a bad time. Pastel, why do all of your loads take forever? Don't take that out of context. Yeah, we know. We know we missed. Let me take another turn. Alright, Ogre's up. Going for Kite. With his massive 18 AC, they do not hit us. We're going to strike right back. We will smite. And they must have like one HP left and I'm mad about it. It's a crit miss over there. Our shield has run out. We have one second level spell slot left. Do we cast magic missile with a level two slot? question is, can we see these guys? We can. So if we do two here for good measure, and then three up there. A victory fit for a song. Excellent. And then let's get to cover there. Block an ally. Impose disadvantage. Excellent. Right, Faith. I would like you to be a little more healed than you are right now, but at the same time, I don't think we can spare the time to do it. So we can shadow dodge up to five tiles away. So if I move to here... Can we shadow dodge up the ledge? No, we can only seem to do it, at least from here, on a 2D plane. Which is a shame. So I'm just going to dodge because we're out in the open now. We'll see what else we can do next turn. Pastel. We need to move forwards so that spiritual weapon can move forwards. does have a far lower movement speed than a standard character but we'll deal with it that is not strong and this bug is officially the most annoying part of this game when it decides to take a very long time to make the decision about how it's going to load the failure when we know that we failed kite Still with all their HP, so we can move up quite freely. Now, do we have any kind of power that's going to get us over there faster? 
I don't think so. So, for now, it's going to be bows and arrows. Nice move. Good hit. Let's keep moving up as far as we can. These guys are still having a real hard time getting to us. I guess this is out of range. Yep, we can't see that. Three quarters cover over here is not good. Can we get a better line of sight on one of these guys? That'll do. And nothing else to do here. These goblins are not very good with a bow and arrow, are they? So if we get all the way to here, can we shadow jump up from there? No, we can't, and I'm mad about it. Alright, well, we're just going to keep attacking at range then. Interesting choice to go up and over rather than around in a standard fashion, but sure. Let's keep going on the injured one. Could I miss? Something tells me that Pastel is not long for this world. There's a whiff with that. Kite. He's a good egg, isn't he? Even with his minus one. These goblins can't hit us for nothing. Firebolts, please. Like four damage. It's not the four I asked for. Can't wait to level up a bit more and kind of get those higher attack values and the increase in proficiency bonus. That's going to be a good time. I should do it though. Once it loads, of course. Excellent stuff. Height. We now have one solitary target to worry about. That's not going to do it. But they really have whiffed the dice rolls, haven't they? I'll take half cover behind Kite. Good five damage. What, more goblins? Or more damage coming to that goblin? It could not have been a more vague statement if they tried. There's nothing in the turn order right now. Don't know if there's any kind of lair action or anything else. Spiritual weapon, go bonk. That's us, I guess. Let's hike over here and start doing what we do better. I said we did it better. Alright, they're on the run. I guess they're going for high ground.
excellent range on that. Shame about the damage. Let's get some cover. That might not even be cover. Shame. Can we still see this guy from here? Yes. And that's a crit. You like that? So close. Pastel. Can you please do four whole damage? That would be ideal. It's going to be a hit. We know that much. You have <laughs> no, no, we can't. That's never going to travel that far in time. Kite, you got line of sight here. We can get the bow back out. No. No. He said it too. Oh wow, they're actually going to hit someone. Man, this is just tough. Uh, we tripped and fell. That's great. Love to see that. Thank goodness. Our knowledge of direwolves in the bestiary has increased. So we've been going way too long. This is like 40 minutes. And I don't expect anyone bothered getting to the end of that fight. Because that was a, a bit tedious, if I do say so myself. Join me next time and we will pillage this stuff. And see if we can find the language documents that we have been looking for. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.